Hi guys, it's Marcus from Totally Silence Tech, and finally I've got to experience triple screen gaming, and I absolutely love it. Now, if you know anything about my setup and what I've been talking about on the channel for the last few weeks, or not even well, probably about a week I would say, was that I was going to be swapping out my monitors and getting free 1440p monitors because currently I have one centre 1440p monitor and two side 1080p monitors. Now I was having a bit of an issue getting triple screen gaming working on this current setup. The monitors are the same size but their hertz rates are completely different. The center is 144 hertz and the two side ones are 60 but I've still managed to get it working flawlessly. It's absolutely brilliant guys. You're going to be seeing some footage so I'm going to be showing you some footage of project cards captured in 4k and it's going to look absolutely awesome and I'm going to take you through my experiences of what I think about triple screen gaming but firstly I'm just going to run through how I actually set it up. Like I said to you before earlier, I've got my center monitor, which is 1440p, which is currently at its native resolution. Now we've got the two side monitors, which I've managed to downsample a 2560 by 1440p resolution onto a 1080p screen, which I think for what I did, it actually looks pretty damn good. And I've done that to both of these and I've actually overclocked the monitors to 74 Hertz as well. So you do that in this control panel simply by clicking the create custom resolution tab and then you can just put in your horizontal pixels and your vertical pixels and your refresh rate. So that is all done. You just save it, test it. You can't go over exactly like what hurts the panel can possibly handle. Uh, that's done. So if you've got two monitors that are different sizes and you're thinking about maybe getting another one, you can run Nvidia, well it's not Nvidia surround, but you can run triple screen gaming like this. So the next step, which was the most complicated step as such, I mean it's not that bad. It was it's just knowing if once you know how to do it, you're okay. So with um, my G-Sync monitor, well, you could have actually done this on any of the monitors, but I had to set up another custom resolution. So I had to set up a custom resolution of 7680 by 1440. Now it was a bit of hassle doing this. The first thing and the main step you have to do is once you've gone into the customized tab and set the custom resolution, you click apply. As far as it's concerned, you're trying to do that on one screen and it just goes completely black you're out out of range so the little trick that you've got to do is use the arrow keys on the keyboard press left and then enter to say yes you want to keep that resolution then you have to pull out your display port or your HDMI port out of your computer out of the back and then plug it back in and up will pop the native resolution that you had before but then in the panel in the custom resolution panel or whatever you want to call it it will say the resolution that you just set and that's it guys you're pretty much sorted you don't need to apply it or anything along them lines and the next step all you have to do is boot up the game and then the custom resolution will be there in the resolution options but the trouble is once you boot that up you will have borders like the top here a big massive blue box running across the top of the screen all the way along the three monitors and you'll have a bit on the sides so i then had to go and use a program called windowed borderless gaming now this is a streaming program which helps streamers when they're sort of don't want the game to go minimized when they want to alt tab out which is great for people when they're watching the stream because they don't want to see the game alt tabbing out every five minutes but what this does is it gets rid of the borders uh, that i was talking about up here so then you've got triple screen gaming on different resolution monitors and it literally looks perfect so now guys I'm going to be running through some gameplay and then I'm just going to share my thoughts of what I think about triple screen gaming with racing games and with FPS shooters so guys the main point of this video is and you're seeing some awesome triple screen gaming right now is the fact that you can use any type of monitor regardless of size regardless of the amount of hertz that it outputs and regardless of resolution it's a great method and it works very well and it definitely bypasses the very strict nvidia surround 
specifications that it demands for it to work. Now, I found with driving games, it looks absolutely awesome. The immersion you get with the wideness from these three monitors is just amazing. I have just struggled to get off it, to be honest with you. My little boy, he absolutely loves it. He wasn't even that interested in the steering wheel as such when I first had it on one monitor because it was a bit uncomfortable for him um, to sit up in the chair. But now he's got a little bit older and with the free screens, he's just loving it. I tend to do the pedals for him. But overall, an amazing experience when you're using driving games. Now, I haven't got any FPS footage, but I will be uploading some a little bit later on. But with FPS games, I found it wasn't that good because all you really see on the sides is kind of like an angled sort of image and it was very distracting because when I'm playing FPS shooters I'm looking at the crosshair the center of the screen 24 7 and these two side monitors kind of just made me want to look over there a lot more and I could not and I found it very difficult to keep my uh, head straight on to the center monitor but overall it's a great experience with driving games i definitely want to try some third person games and see how that's kind of going to shape up i want to try um grand theft auto 5 but remember guys this is a great method i haven't actually seen any videos out there like this that shows you how to use this method with nvidia cards so i thought it was a great video to get out i hope you've enjoyed the video guys and um oh, yeah just leave a like if you like it and i shall see you very soon because i've been marcus from totally silence tech goodbye